Good morning. It is Trucker Girl Kiana here. I hope y'all are having a beautiful and blessed day. We are. Um, I actually made my bed the last three days in a row. I know it's super amazing. Um, I know there's a lot of people that make it their beds every day. Whatever. I don't. This this, this is an accomplishment for me. I am a very <clears throat> messy person, and making my bed and keeping that area organized and even keeping the uh, table. Look at that, it's clear. Even keeping that clean is, is, is difficult. Um, so, that is an accomplishment that I've had today. Sarah, I need you to stop cleaning yourself and say hi. We, uh, we just had a little bit of fun playing uh, B-A-L-L. <laughs> I can't even spell it, you guys. She knows. She knows the words, but, um, <clears throat> yeah, so we are just about getting ready to start our day and, uh, go on with our, with our bad selves and whatnot. We are at the, uh, Yates Center, uh, rest area. This is where we stopped last night because I only have 72 miles left on the trip, but I was starting to get tired, so... I figured it was either go up the road to Topeka, Kansas and drop the load and possibly get more tired along the way and not make it. And this was like my last option for parking up until you get to Topeka. Or take the rest area, play it safe, and park it. So we took the rest area, played it safe, parked it. We've been parked a little bit longer than 10 hours, but um, I was just taking a little bit more of a break than I needed. Um, I got up about 30 minutes before my clock came back and started waking up, you know, going to the bathroom, putting water on my face, taking care of the dog, letting her go outside. Yeah, I love you. Hi, I love you. Yeah, and then, and then I took her outside and let her P-L-A-Y. <laughs> and uh, made some breakfast, and you can see that it's all nice and clean. The bed is all nice and made. Like, I feel so proud of myself. And uh, organized up there. Um, the last time I went to Walmart, I picked up the, uh, um, the thing that says nostalgia over there. That's a grilled cheese maker because it was only six bucks and I figured yeah, that'd be a super easy way to make grilled cheese on the truck. And then I've had the uh, waffle maker and the pancake maker um, because uh, the dual burner that I have uh, doesn't do a very good job of making, doesn't do a very good job of making evenly uh, toasted pancakes and such so it's not very busy on this road I am on US 75 um, obviously because I'm at the Yates Center rest area that's where the rest area is uh, shoot yeah we, we picked this load up out of the yard yesterday um, and just kind of ran up here the load was supposed to be there at about 2.54 in the morning, uh, and about 2 o'clock I woke up and messaged dispatch for an updated ETA because the other driver was the one that was getting the load loaded, so I don't know if, I didn't know if the load had gotten loaded on time and if it was going to be there on time and everything, so just because I didn't even know what trailer to look for, I figured... Because it, it wasn't in the notes. It wasn't in the notes. So that to me, that said that they didn't even know what trailer it was loaded on. So I asked them, you know, what was the updated ETA? And they gave me an ETA of 1130 yesterday. So that means I need to go back to sleep. So I went back to sleep yesterday. Um, only managed to sleep until about 830. Uh, body just wouldn't let me sleep past that because I had already gone to sleep early the day before to sleep until 2 so that I would be ready to roll it to um, in case the load had been there uh, 
because I was expecting it to be there. And so, load actually did not show up until about 11.45. I took Serafina for a bike ride yesterday um, because next to, I was at the uh, Seagoville Terminal. And next to the Seagoville Terminal is, like, quarter mile down the road is a park. A very, very beautiful park. Um, and it's a great place to just take her and let her run, ride the bike and run. And, um, yeah, hi, I love you. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know if you can see that. There is two dogs off in the distance over there. I don't know if she's watching them right now, but they were out here earlier. She saw them. Um, <clears throat> But I can see them now, and they're back there by that fan that's about to start moving. Um, but yeah, it didn't show up until about 11.45 yesterday. I saw it pull into the yard, and I followed it up the ramp to where the trailers were parked. And he, the driver looked to be having a bit of a difficult time parking, because it looked like he wanted to try and do a pull-through, but wasn't enough space to do that. So I figured, hey, what the heck, maybe he has a CB radio and I'll jump on the CB radio and see if he, uh, he indeed does have one. So I told him, hey driver, um, you got a radio? He's like, yeah. I was like, go ahead and drop that trailer. Cause, uh, that's, that's the trailer I'm looking for. He's like, you taking this load? And I said 35035, which is a trailer that I currently have, guys. Um, and he's like, all right. So he dropped it right there, and I went ahead and uh, <clears throat> swapped the he, he swapped the paperwork out with me. And I uh, went ahead and did my pre-trip and all that fun nonsense. Found out that there was a light um, missing, a marker light missing from the trailer. Um, this side has the marker light. The other side does not. Um, uh, did not get that fixed at the yard because I didn't want to sit there any longer. Uh, there was a gentleman that has been hanging around all the women at the yard, which isn't a problem, except for when you're a gentleman hanging out around all the women and you're up in their personal space and you just won't leave them alone when it's obvious that they don't want your attention. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I, I, I'm sorry, CFI, but I had to get up out of that yard because, uh, gentleman was just being a little bit too up in my space and he's been there for the last three days and I've been there for the last three days. I've now, the thing is, I've not, I've not been sitting in the CFI yard for three days. I've gone, I brought a load in. I had to wait for another load to take out and then I took that out and came down and dropped it off to another driver and then came back and then I had to wait for this load so um yeah so that that's why I've been in the Seagullville yard for three days but it was awesome because I was able to do my laundry and get a shower uh which they just changed the shower heads out in that yard and oh my gosh amazing love the shower heads great upgrade thank you for doing that so anyways I think that's all we got for right now I will uh, talk to you guys later and I hope you all have a beautiful day